Sure. Well, I think some of the weakness that you're seeing in the last couple of days is understandable because North Korea, as we all know, is just difficult to predict. Uh, nobody really knows what will happen next. I think there's really two ways you could sort of think about it, and I lean a little bit more towards the more benign scenario. So the benign view is that the uh, demolition of the liaison office was mostly symbolic, right? There's nothing really legally wrong with the North Korean government destroying a building on its own soil, since this is north of the DMZ. Although the building was a symbol of warming north-south ties in 2018, uh, it hasn't really been staffed by South Korean personnel since January due to COVID. And the communications uh, channel was already cut by North Korea earlier this month. So I do think that there is an argument that North Korea could just take this symbolic victory and start ratcheting down uh, tensions after that. Uh, the more negative interpretation, of course, and like as I said before, no one really knows that the action yesterday indicates some changes within the hierarchy within the North Korean leadership. And that hawkish rhetoric could foreshadow further escalation. We all know that uh, North Korea did threaten the DMZ yesterday. So there's a lot of comparisons to November 2010 when Yongpyeong Island, the South Korean island, was bombed. And that was largely attributed to uh, changes at uh, North Korea, uh, particularly Kim Jong-un becoming Kim Jong-un's successor. So it's not clear what the case is today. I suspect, though, uh, that uh, tensions will quiet down and the Korean won could uh, get stronger against the U.S. dollar. Sure, but just given the fact how much the won is sensitive to this uh, issue, uh, to rising tensions uh, in the Korean Peninsula, uh, would you define a range within which uh, the yuan would move, uh, sorry, the won would move essentially uh, on the back of this news or developments coming through? Yeah, I think it could get as high as 1240 if things do get really bad. Uh, the next level that I'm watching is uh, the 1220 level. And on the downside, if things do stabilize, I think 1200 will just see some key resistance. It did break last week amid USD weakness against uh, all Asian currencies, uh, but it was quickly rejected on Monday. So I guess we'll have to see uh, whether or not you can get durable yuan strength. If things do calm down over the next one or two months, say, and things quiet down, then I would expect the yuan to uh, strengthen back past 1,200.